Sarah. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, yes. Oh. There, there. Oh, God. There. Oh. 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 I need more, Larry. God, Shamra. It's... There's lots I haven't done, Laffer. That's why I'm leaving you. Leaving? Now? Oh, no. A night with you gives a woman plenty of time to think. All that new age philosophy crap just isn't me. What I really love is money. You can't leave me here like this. You're gold right. digger. You gold so digger. On, sucker. Hey, I don't smoke. Oh, baby. You are the lowest. This has got to be the worst night of my life. <sighs> Oh no. Oh shit. Oh shit. This guy, he's, he's gonna act like a cartoon character. Oh shit, what's going on? Oh, interesting. I can type something. Well, whiz. Let's see if I can whiz to uh, take it out. Good thing. Whiz. Good thing. What can I do? Oh no. What can I do here? Shimera's hotbed. <laughs> Um, actually guys, so yeah, this is the beginning of Leisure Suit Larry Love for Sale, otherwise known as Leisure Suit Larry 7. Um, this is actually the sixth game in the series because there was no Leisure Suit Larry 4. So yeah, um, this is the very last game that had Al Lowe's involvement and the last game the Leisure Suit, the classic Leisure Suit Larry series before it got rebooted um, back in 2018 with Wet Dreams Don't Dry. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the last of the classic games and the last of the ones developed by Sierra. Uh, back in the day, so yeah, it's my first time playing it, and it starts off like this with um, you chained up <laughs> on a bed with fire around you. Vice grips, let's use it. Stop fooling around and. Okay, and there's a narrator, of course. There's always a narrator, and he's acting like a cartoon character. Oh man. I can... But it's interesting how you can actually put a custom. You can actually have a custom action. Okay, that's interesting. Good thing. You... What the hell is this, man? Here we've taken. Okay, so I can actually headboard. You know, There's no way. Handcuffs. Man, what am I supposed to do here to get out of here? Inventory. Vice grips. What do you use with the vice grips? They are vice grips. Man. That doesn't. What can I do here? Headboard. Fire. Uh, good. Am I gonna die? Hold on. Take. No oh darn it! And I like how the pointer is like a little condom. <laughs> Seriously, there's nothing I can do here. What can I use? Stop. No. No, I can't do anything. Everything's dying here. But sir, use look. There's no. There's no. I see. So, uh, okay, so it's giving me some hints now that I'm almost about to die. Now it finally gives me some hints. You open the finally. 
there's a needle. Okay, so I open it. Oh man, the game has to give me some hints because otherwise gonna, I was gonna die. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Needle. Move your mousey cursor to the upper left corner of the game's graphics area until the menu bar appears. Click on the menu bar and the menu will drop down. Yes, let's use the needle. There we go. The Finally. needle is just too straight to use as a lockpick. What? You serious? Then what can I do? Can't use the needle as a lockpick. The bent needle. That doesn't. Oh, you know what? Now it's bent. In. Now I can use it. It's a bent needle. Maybe. There we go. Now I can use it. Yes. Let's get out of there. Man, what an ah. opening! <laughs> Man, what an opening, right? It starts you off with you about to die. <laughs> what an opening of, of a game. Okay. Uh, break. There's not enough water in the aquarium to put out that break. Even that long night of love making hasn't made me thirsty enough to drink warm water laced with fish feces. There's not enough water in the aquarium to put out that raging inferno. Love the narrator. The narrator is also like, always one of the funniest parts of Bijou Shoveri. Is uh, all this, all these, uh, the narrator's uh, comments. <laughs> okay, floor lamp. You don't need. Uh, turn on. Don't you, ever, don't you ever think about anything but sex? Unplug. What? You're afraid it will start a fire? Hmm. So take. You don't need to take. Sure. Right. Yes, this would be a good time to flowers. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's coming. Dried flower. You don't Oh shit. Our night of passion. Yeah. The hell? Um can I do? Turn on? Don't you ever think of it. Throw, use. There's no... Come on. The aquarium. There's not much to do here, man. It's the aquarium, the lamp, and the window, and the chair. What if I take the chair and throw it at the window? Yeah, let's do it. Oh man. Hotel furniture just ain't what it used to be. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Can I use the pieces? I can't do the pieces. What if I throw this one? You can't lift that lap. It must weigh all of twenty pounds. Uh, what am I going to do? Shit. There's not enough water in the equipment. Can't do that. There's no There's no need. Break drink. Can't use any of that. Break the glass door. <laughs> I know, but what I tried breaking it, dude. You don't. I tried breaking it with this stupid like chair, it didn't work. And I can't even throw this uh, floor lamp, it's too heavy. So what else am I supposed to use? What else is there? There's no nothing else to use. Break. Oh wow, okay that works. 
I had to use a custom action. Okay, interesting. Wow, so I had to use a custom action. Interesting. I need to use a custom action. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Oh. Is that a Sailor Moon? That's a Sailor Moon outfit. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you see Larry Love for Sale. Oh, here we go. Now this is the beginner. Man, what what an introduction, man. It just puts you right on the spot. <laughs> wow. Okay. What an intro. Alright. Yeah, this is the sixth entry in the series, like I said. My first time playing it. Uh, the very last entry of the classic series. But man, what an intro. It just starts you off like that. Whole hotel's on fire and you're trying to get out. Oh man, keeps you on your toes. All right, time to go for a cruise. Man, I miss going on a cruise. Right, it was over a year ago. I went on a Bahamas cruise with my parents. Oh, kind of miss that. Before this cruise is over, she'll be falling all over me. Yeah, I miss, I miss going on a cruise. Oh, it was over a year ago with my parents to the Bahamas. I miss that. Oh man, okay. Room zero. Where's my inventory? Oh, what? Interesting. What? There's a file menu here? It's like a menu that's, you know, a menu that you would see in a software program. Okay, file. Okay, yeah, this is for opening a game. And you have map, inventory, because this is very different from other Sierra games, because other Sierra games usually have like an inventory up here. You don't get that here, um, but you get like a menu. Okay, hints, customer service, about. Oh wow. Okay, these are all the different designers. Aolo, that's the original creator of Yusu Larry. Okay. Oh, this is a very interesting. Okay, the menu is different. Map. Oh, I miss being on cruise. You got the bridge, captain's quarters, Falk Isle, proud little seaman lounge, aft deck, promenade deck, clothing optional pool, interesting. Kitchen, so that's a nude pool, I guess. Um, kitchen, heaving hoe, I'm here. Our replicant sculpture garden, paradise casino. Oh, I miss casino. Pushers competition. Poop deck. The PMS bouncy, huh? And the Captain Creek's ballroom. Okay. Lower aft hold, aft hold, cabin zero, that's my cabin, and forward hold, okay. Okay. You can save any time. Okay. My inventory, the only thing I got is that. Okay. My cabin key card. Your key card has an all important magnetic stripe on the back, so it may be used for shipboard purchases and even to unlock your cabin door. May I love the narrator. The narrator is always so cheeky in these games. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So, unlike the other Leisure Suit Larry games, yeah, this one uses a very different interface from the uh, typical Sierra engine. 
um, the scum engine, I think they call it. Um, but yeah, this is used a completely different inter interface. Yeah, this is like uh, almost like almost like a Windows point-and-click game. I mean, it's a Windows point-and-click game, but what I mean is almost like a Windows desktop is what I'm talking about, right? Like a Windows desktop, right? You have like different menu options here, so it's different from a typical Sierra point-and-click adventure. Interesting. And then dialogue, dialogue options up here. Interesting. Of course. Wait here. I'll be right back. Okay. Ooh, it looks the like the desk has a beautiful aquarium built into it. But what's that scuba diver doing? The scuba diver in the in the aquarium. In the front desk. Okay. Oh no, he's right there. Paint someone for me. All right. Party, Miss Hugginkiss. We have no one aboard by that. Amanda Hugginkiss. Amanda. Oh, I hate that. Oh, it's the old Simpsons gag. Okay. <laughs> Funny. So unlike in other, um, unlike in other. Sierra games and other Leisure Suit Larry games, you actually have the option to do a custom action here. Now this is that throwback to the old days in the 80s, right? The 80s adventure games where you could, would type in a command into the text prompt. So this is really cool because you see this, you see this in a graphical uh, point-click adventure game now. Yeah, so this is the first time I've seen something like this in an actual point-and-click adventure game, right? The ability to actually enter a custom command, right? So, um, yeah, so you can say something like this, right? It doesn't make any sense. Stop trying to put things in your mouth. <laughs> so it actually parsed it correctly. I actually thought I was trying to eat it. So, uh, maybe I, what if I put, like, a naughty word here, like, fuck. Sexaholic Synodalus <laughs> meets tomorrow night. Be there. What's the dues? An inch a month. Yow, I can't afford that. Wait, my mistake. That's Overeaters Anonymous. Who? Yeah, so look, and then all my other ones get, get saved here. Break, eat, F. <laughs> okay, interesting. Shift's map, camera's keyboard, okay. A clock with a pendulum. Someone must have pushed hard to get his big submarine into that tiny hole. Take it. Nah, I already have something long and hard and filled with sea men. <laughs> oh no, that uh, joke. So bad. <laughs> while we all know how much you love to go down, Larry, you won't be doing any diving on this journey. Oh man. These innuendos. Nah, you've already read this one. Take this one. Nah, you go. You've heard guy. Okay, let's go over here. Who is this? Excuse me, miss. Um, that's me, Victorian principles. Nice to meet you. My name is Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. Oh, I so love dual first names. One cruise I met Fotros Boutros Guy. Oh man, look at look at all these dialogue options. Job, the weather, good books, your book, entertainment, ship or life, Dewey Decimal System, obviously sex, pick up line, goodbye. And you can even enter a custom one too. Interesting. Are you the ship's librarian? Yes I am. Mm. Oh, I'm sure you have something I could explore. All right. Whoa, babe, slow down. Fast? Uh, well, sir, we check out books by cabin number here. Zero? <laughs> libraries. Remember when they no, had libraries? 
Even a library on a cruise ship. Correct. Man, I don't think I had. I've seen a library on a cruise ship. Tickle your ass with a feather? <gasps> what did you say? <laughs> I said particularly nasty weather. Oh. <laughs> really? <laughs> Tickle your ass with a feather. So, uh, you got any good books? Oh, many kinds. Unfortunately, you're a little late. All the really good ones are already gone. I wish I had a dollar for every time I've heard that. How's your book? Oh, quite uplifting. I so enjoy books affirming sound moral principles. Oh. Oh, no. Those books don't appeal to me. All that panting and groping. I wish I was some great literature. Yeah, great literature. But, um, what do you do for entertainment? Well, I start at one end of the bookcase and read my way through to the other. Unfortunately, I'm now on my third pass through most of them. Cruise ship life looks like an endless vacation. Don't you just love it? Sure, it's perfect. If perfect means knowing that every day you're going to have exactly the same food you had that day last week, it's perfect. But all the fun, the nightlife, the non-stop partying. Oh, well, not for us crew members. For us, it's more like never being able to leave the office. 945.3? <laughs> Four seven one point two four one ninety eight. What the hell is this? Oh, what are you doing? What do you think? Whispering Dewey Decimal numbers to you. Hernana? Uh, hardly. I filed them all. Did I mention my name is Larry? Now would you like to have sex? So <laughs> disgusting. You'll never get anywhere with me, you pathetic loser. <laughs> How about me whispering a few Dewey Decimal numbers in your ear? <laughs> oh, no. As if I haven't heard that line before, then you're all alike. What about these? Well, nice talk. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try a custom one. Hiya, Vicky. Yes? Oh, it's you. Yep. Let me try a custom one. Just a moment. Let me look that up for you. Has to look it up. Oh, I'm sorry, but everything we have on that topic is gone. What? That wasn't what I. W okay. That's not really what I wanted. But okay, what's the boss? Oh, this, this is the boss prompt. Okay, this is the boss prompt. In case you're playing this at work, you want to show your boss the a fake C command screen. <laughs> Yep, don't need a boss a boss prompt here. That was back in the days when um you had to hide you had to hide playing the game from your boss, so you had to fake a fake terminal screen just to uh, fool your boss into thinking that you're doing work. <laughs> oh man, paradise. Oh yeah, it's a casino. Let's go in. Whoa, look at this. Huh. Uh, drinks anyone? Montiti. Shit. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dapper gentleman. Talk to him. What is the car there with a the volcano? What the heck? Hey, uh, I hear there's free drinks at the blackjack tables. Uh, of course there's free drinks here too. Uh, do you suppose you can ask to make room for me? Please? Dapper gentleman. James Bond theme. There's a James Bond theme Excuse here. Excuse me. Huh? No talking, monsieur. You've wanted to play craps ever since you visited Lost Wages, way back in Leisure Suit Larry in the Land of the Lounge Wizards. Just one of the many great games available in Sierra's handsome collector's edition, Leisure Suit Larry's Greatest Hits and Misses. Yeah, too bad the table's full. Yeah, they, this game self-references. <laughs> I mean, Les Manley actually does that too, it's just fun. Hey, didn't your mother teach you to share? Not. No, they don't want me to play. Blackjack tables. 
Yes, these blackjack tables do look inviting. But you played enough blackjack when you were in lost wages, as documented in Leisure Suit Larry in the land of the lounge lizards. Available at Sleazy. Yeah, yeah, we can get it. Um, can we go down the elevator? Escalator, I mean. Oh wait, are those slot machines? Can we use them? Those slots just remind you of the slots back in Lost Wages, mm -hmm. as chronicled in Leisure Suit Larry. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know, I use slots in Leisure Suit Larry 1. I get it. Land of the Lounge Wizards, yeah. Whoa, what's this, lasers? Captain Thigh has thoughtfully provided photographs of herself throughout the ship as motivation to Thigh's Man Trophy contestants. That's Bill Clinton. Hmm. Jeez, if guys like that can win this contest, how hard can it be? That's New Gringich. In your case, not that hard. That's New Gringich, isn't it? New Gringich and Bill Clinton. Jeez, if guys like that can win. In your case. Okay. Drinks, anyone? Montiti. Chicken. Chicken. Not sir. Yeah, could I get a little bean dip over here? <laughs> Thanks, baby. You're great. <laughs> this is a bunch of James Bond clones. They all say it at the same time. Oh my god. The Paradise Casino has chosen a unique way to display the grand prize in the Progressive Slot Machine Challenge. Carcano. Hmm, how do they even do that? Where else to go? I haven't even gone to my, uh... When Lefty thing. plays piano, it sounds like a jazz combo. Water. Strange, but now you have to go. You mean leave this area? No. Ah. Yeah. Attention. It looks like golden piss. A piss waterfall. Yep. Where's my um? The library. Trying to find my my cabin. Ice sculpture of Captain Thigh as a mermaid is incredibly detailed, right down to her drippings. <laughs> Lick. Problems letting out your aggression, Larry? <laughs> Fuck. Sexaholics Anonymous meets tomorrow night. <laughs> Be there. An inch a month. Yow, I can't afford that. Wait, my mistake. That's Overeaters Anonymous. <sighs> Look, it's all you can drink. And free, too. Oh, you're just saying that's... Yes. Well, isn't that why you spend so long alone in the bathroom? Well, <clears throat> no. Mushrooms, all these are different, huh? Lima beans, Greek salad, cuckoos. Oh my god! No, Larry, it's not what you think. Those are slender mushrooms imported directly from the Klahani mushroom cellars of Issaquah, Washington. Oh, god. I was afraid they were turnips. Meatloaf, what green the heck's green? Has always been your least favorite color of meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I also like how um, this one's so different from other point-and-click adventure games. Usually you, use, you have an inventory, right? And you have to use that item. But here you just go to use and then it has a whole list of inventory stuff that you can use. So yeah, it's very much like Windows de desktop, like I said. What is Cuckoo? You've never tasted a cranberry banana squash couscous you didn't like. I've never tasted any. And that's the way it's going to stay. I love the narrator. So funny. He has so many quips. 
hot meat. That's a special table serving hot meat. Whoa. Wang. Wang is the PMS Bouncy's chief serving boy. What are you serving? We got spork. Very best. You like okay? Pork. Yeah, Jesus, Mary and Joseph in a tiny canoe. Are you deep? It's spork. I heard you the first time. You got it, boss. No complaint, Raider. Okie dokie. Whoa. Whoa, it's just spork. Or spam, I guess. <laughs> so much for this pig. Potted meat food product that tastes as fresh as home slaughter, just like mom used to butcher. Very good, boss. Now you go. Hey, uh, what's with the accent? Oh. Ay, I know I couldn't keep it up. I'm Chinese, you see, but my parents were Buddhist missionaries, so I grew up in Ireland. People stare when I speak normally like this, so I found it simpler just to sound like some bad Charlie Chatton impersonator. <laughs> Too much talk. More people need smoke. <laughs> yes, she. Yeah, baby. What the hell is that? Is that Waldo? What the heck? That was a that was a Waldo sausage. What the heck is that? Say, is it safe to let your meat hang that way? Yours is. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Too easy, huh? Okay, so this was actually spork. I think I'll have a hunk of your spork. This stuff is great. It's kind of like spam, only not so expensive. Love that spork. Oh. Now be sure not to exceed the maximum daily allowance. Those warnings are on the can for a reason, you know. <laughs> Can't get enough of this stuff. It's so good. Oh no, not enough spork. Must get more. No touchy. Uh, okay. Take this knife. Since Wang's not looking, I may as well steal his knife. Oh yeah, take his knife. That might come in handy. Your attention, please. The lounge is on the upper deck. Use your courtesy baps. Oh, Cyber Cheese 2000. Cyber Cheese 2000. Just add ingredients and step way back. Unfortunately, this isn't the portable Cyber Cheese 2000 with active matrix screen. Darn the luck. Guillotine. Some chefs aren't comfortable cooking without the traditional French tools. Guillotine. Wrap fish. That fish has gone bad. How can you tell? Oh, the little things. The earring, the tattoo, the surly expression. Say, how about if I toss the fish and keep the magazine it's wrapped in? That's good. Nice. Tub of entrails. It's a tub of entrails and even worse stuff. Our artist drew a close-up of it, but it made our programmers ill. And you should never watch laws being made either. Cookie puss. Mmm. Cookie puss. Lick it. That's not bad. Considering it's been sitting out unrefrigerated for days. Oh. Eat it. No. Save it for later. Do you know the three principal parts of the common wood stove? The lifter, leg, and poker. Yeah, that's good. Caviar Master. The Caviar Master 2000. <laughs> Is for those who like their eggs fishy yet fresh. Opera. Hmm, okay. Tub. So that's why dinner was so late last night. Oh, there's a fishing pole that goes right out to the sea from here. So that. Adds a new dimension to last night's swordfish dinner, eh, Larry? Mm. Yeah. Fishnet. What's Fifi? No, not Fifi. <laughs> what is that? 
pest strip. You've always found the concept of sticking insects to curly paper appealing. Nice pot. Reminds me of my college days. The judge gave me six months probation. What? Okay, take it. Yeah. We'll take the salt too. Pass the salt. Okay, you try making the jokes all the time. Continuous tower, read it. A small label on the side of the roller towel says, Next service, October 1954. Whoa, 1954. For the love of God, no! Yeah, there's another Waldo sausage right there. Yeah, baby. The Waldo sausage. I don't know. <laughs> Didn't even know that was a thing. Okay, let's open that. This door is locked. How do I get to my cabin? Still haven't got there. Um, an elevator somewhere? That, that one's uh, too, uh, too complex. Uh, let's see. The library been there. Hmm. Can I use my map to travel down? You insert your oh, I can. Okay, well, that's easy. With great anticipation. That's easy. I can just fast travel. That's cool. Sweet be like. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, this is my cabin? This is really my cabin? <laughs> what the heck? Oh, some kind of cabin this is. Your attention, please. Cabin is here. This little giant sea captain is workmanship of the master craftsman of Brohuti. Well, that's good. Not that good. Their traditional principle is make it last until the warranty expires. Oh. Give or take a week? Sure. Ooh, about 12 years ago. Did I say don't? Oh. Okay. Very. Hmm, interesting. Barrels. These barrels were once used to store toxic sludge. But apparently no longer. Well, that's good. Not that good. It's all leaked out onto your floor. Oh. This pipe is clearly marked water, for what that's worth. While it may look like there are two pipes leaking near your bed, there's really just one. The rolling of the ship makes the water land on either side of the <laughs> well, well, okay. that's good. I guess. Not that good. Guess where it's going to land when the sea is calm. Oh. <laughs> okay. This toilet doesn't work. It has no water coming in and the drain seems to be plugged up. The toilet worked perfectly when this cabin's last occupant checked in. Oh, that's good. Not that good. He had to plug up its drain pipe to keep it from leaking all over the floor. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Take the toilet paper. Alright, cot. You've been provided with the finest in army surplus cots. Well, that's good. Not that good. It's from the Uzbekistan army, and the only reason it's surplus is because sleeping on it is less comfortable than sleeping on frozen tundra. Oh. <laughs> yeah, all this stuff here sucks, man. My cabin sucks. Oh no. The Chinese water torture. Alright, so uh, you can fast travel, that's cool. Forward hold and go here. The door has a small plaque with the words luggage hold. 
Logisch. You turn the handle and find out that looks can be deceiving. Alright. Um, hmm. Where else? Oh, this is kind of the same thing. Aft hole, they're all pretty much the same. Okay, let's try Sculpture Garden. Oh, that's here. I've been there before. Casino, been there before. Horseshoes competition, interesting. First, insert your Thiesman Trophy scorecard in the card reader. What? I don't have one of those. That's the target for anyone playing horseshoes here. Insert your thighs. Okay, yeah, I got it. Okay, heaving ho. Nope, been there. So all the sections of the ship, basically. Clothing optional pool. Ooh, this should be good. Score? Oh yeah, okay. I thought it was the other score. Undress. Not here. There aren't quite enough people watching you yet. Okay. Wait. You'd hardly think modesty would be necessary at a clothing optional pool, but many of these people don't want to be seen undressing. Naked, sure, but removing their clothing? Really? <laughs> okay. Oh. Hmm. What to do here? Whoa, sorry, dude. You gotta stop here. Why? What's wrong? You. You can't enter the pool like that. Like what? Like that. You know, dress. Why not, dude? Safety Oh, God, reasons. look at him. Dude, for Shut sure. It's like a bear. Safety reasons? Wait. Purser's orders. That polyester fabric could ignite in this tropical sun. So, drop, um, well, I don't think I should enter naked. I mean, everyone would, um, stare, you know, at my um, physical attributes. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, uh -huh. once I went into a restaurant that required a tie. Sure, I got courtesy letters. Oh. This little dude right here is exactly what you need. Oh, great. Of course I couldn't get a normal swimsuit. Can I at least have a towel to cover it up? For sure! No problem, dude. Now, don't get it wet. It might shrink. <laughs> CyberSniff 2000. Alright. Time to pick up some chicks. Naked chicks. Where am I? There we go. Oops. Oh boy. Oh, thank you. Well, well. What have we here? <laughs> Is that your trunk or are you just glad to see me? And what's your name, little Babar? Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. And you? Drew Barrymore. <laughs> True Barry I haven't seen a cod piece since I took Professor Lipkin's minor playwrights of the late Elizabethan period during my sophomore year at Barnard, and I've never seen one with such a cute African influence. You know, I'm quite interested in history, but I'm essentially ignorant of anything past the tertiary level African tribes. Could you share a little of its immediate history with me? Perhaps its regional influences or its acquisition history? Oh, well, the <laughs> cabana boy gave it to me because I forgot my swimsuit. Oh. That's true Barrymore? Oh, Drew Barrymore. Okay, I got it. <laughs> you don't have any clothing at all, do you, Drew? Of course not. I love nudism so much that just as soon as I board ship, I get rid of every single piece of pesky clothing. Good idea. And I force my cabin boy to lock up a secret someplace where I can't possibly find it so I can spend the entire week here by the pool naked. I keep sweet sun and swim here, never leaving the comfort of the shades. It may not be an ideal vacation for everyone, but for me, well, it's what I love the most. Ugh, this tropical sun is brutal. I hope you don't mind, Larry, but I need to spend a few minutes rubbing this sunscreen all over my naked body. <laughs> need help? No, but nice try. I really like the way it makes my skin glisten, you know? The way it brings out the soft little hairs on the back of my neck, my arms, my chest, my 
can't take it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't realize I was being so hard on him. Excuse me, Larry. Here comes a waiter. This will just take a second. Waiter. A waiter. Hey there, beautiful. What can I do for you? I want a gigantic erection. Looks like your uh, little buddy there's got you covered, huh? What? I said, bring me a gigantic erection. Well, okay, baby. I'm your man. Well, where is it? I'm working on it. Am I moving that computer? <laughs> Look, I want a mixed drink. A cocktail. You know, lime juice, 151 fruit rum, vodka, triple sec, mayonnaise with a hollowed out frozen banana to suck through. You know, a gigantic erection. Okay, but uh, it'll take a while. Oh my god. I'm not sure if I actually like this art style better than uh, Leisure Suit Larry 6. Because in Leisure Suit Larry 6, when you click on the women, I don't know, it just seems like they're a little bit more detailed. But now in Leisure Suit Larry 7, it doesn't seem they're as detailed as the ones in 6. So that's a little bit weird, right? I don't know, this art style is just different. Yeah. I just find the uh, yeah, Leisure Suit Larry 6 women to be a little bit more detailed when you click on them. Okay, cod pieces. So you recognize this as a cod piece? It's been a few years, but I believe my college text defined it as a pouch at the crotch of the tight-fitting breeches worn by men in the 15th and 16th centuries. It's from the Middle English word cod pest. A cod, a bag, a scrotum, which came from the Old English word cod, meaning bag plus pest, meaning peace. Is that your understanding, Larry? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Wow. She's smart. She has a nice little laptop thing. UMPC or something, looks like. Might be one of those limited edition ThinkPads that they released back then. The, the tiny ThinkPad uh, palm tops, yes. Aren't you worried about overexposure? Oh no, not anymore. Sure, once upon a time. I this is very strategic. doesn't require nude scenes from all those characters, and Al Lowe would never include dozens of naked bodies merely for prurient interest. Ah. Except no. Our budget was too low to animate all of it. Interesting. Take that magazine. Let's check this out right now. Here's an article about the country western singing duo, The Jugs. It seems there was a little incident at a recent Bedford concert where they were arrested and charged with public lewdness and solicitation. Their publicist blamed it all on a rare chemical sensitivity problem. 
The article concludes by saying the girls are going to take a little time off, staying out of the limelight until the scandal dies down. Yeah, celebrity magazines are so boring. I'll just leave it here. Mm, yep, got that, right. Um, yeah, I guess I can't go down there, because like, they said it was too hard to animate all these new people, apparently. Promenade deck. It's here. Cypher Smith 2000. Makes me wonder about all those times I didn't sneak into movie theaters. Took the fire hose. Every fine ship has plants carved into the shape of animals. But a goose? Hmm. The heck? What, what's that? Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, may I bother you for a moment? <sighs> This gun salt here is must have been a leg socket. My name is Larry. Yeah, well, I'm Peggy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, well, you don't have to be so f***ing uppity. I can see why they call you Peggy. Peggy. Oh, can you lame ass? It's because my f***ing mother named me Margaret, you stupid sucker. Whoa. Talk your uh, talk to your mom with that mouth. So um, how'd you lose your <laughs> leg? Hey. A uh, freak f***ing accident. That's how. Sexual lubricant, deodorant spray, and you lost your leg. Let's just say I wasn't spraying me f***ing armpits. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> no more details. No. <laughs> she doesn't want to. Is it just me, or do you seem to swear a lot? Swear? Oh, hell no, mother -er. I suffer from clorets. Clorets? <laughs> Don't you mean Tourette's? No, you dumb twit. I mean I got a foul mouth. <laughs> so, um, where can I find a cabin boy? You stupid son of a... Don't you know you can never find a god cabin boy when you need him? Sh well, um, my needs are a bit simpler. Um, I just want a favor. Thanks, Peggy. I'll see you around, Miss Peggy. It's been my f***ing flip. Wow. Huh, okay, it's over here. Whoa! Look at all the cool stuff back here. Oh, well. I sure wish you could see the stuff that's the back here. Let's get that first. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's this? Topiary screw railing. What's in here? Never mind. If you're not this. faded by now, Jeff Dick. I'm sure Captain Thigh will be pleased if punched. Are there any answers? You may begin. Hey, um, I've got a question. Yes, you there. In the interesting clothes. Uh, what's this item listed here on my scorecard? Chastity? It's a joke, sweetheart. Hey, what's wrong with you anyway? You're not some sort of government infiltrator, are you? That's ridiculous. Oh, yes? It's not my fault you can't make a joke. Yeah, that's it. I'm leaving. So they have. Very well, well dismissed. <laughs> okay. Is this a pirate ship? <laughs> Up this short rest. You heard this place was filled with big chests. But... <laughs> they're fake. Just like the drinks. Mm, I love the uh, double entendres in this game. It's amazing. Uh, in other Leisure Suit Larry games too, of course. Well, pretty much it, I think. What's over here? Oh god. Okay. Yep. What's this? Top is bridge and captain's quarters. Okay. Killer. I don't like dogs. It's 
must be captain's quarters. The front of this box is divided into two parts labeled PA system and sail. Filled with complicated equipment, instruments, computers, and a bungee cord. Huh. Why bother with expensive radar and autopilots when a bungee cord works just as well? <laughs> okay. Sometimes. Dice. Every good ship has a pair of fuzzy dice. I used to have fuzzy dice when I had a car. It's classic. The Brit. It seems to be hopelessly lost. Like you. Well, what else can I do here? Whoa. Can I go over here? The sails are made from white polyester. Just like your leisure suit, Larry. Leisure suit, Larry? Hey, that's me. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not afraid of heights. It's a matter of opinion. It's dark and wet with occasional white foamy spots. Kind of like your pants. Hmm. <laughs> See. Captain's Your court. attention, please. Steve is the proud winner of the nude Scrabble it's competition. Locked. Captain Thigh spends the entire week behind closed doors, practicing her unique form of hands on management. She wouldn't appreciate your spying on her and him. Leaderboard, what's this? Captain Thigh's leaderboard, okay. Hmm. Well, yep, that's pretty much it. Um, I think I went. Oh, Captain Claus Ballroom, haven't been here yet. A large sculpture. Let's go in here. Ooh. It's here. You've never seen a glass bottomed swimming pool before, especially one with nude swimmers. Yeah, baby. Yeah. A gorgeous woman sits before a drying seat. Let's talk to her. Hello there, beautiful. What's a mermaid like you doing here in this Atlantis? Oh, she's trying city? stuff. <laughs> Get out! This is a private area. I've rented this ballroom for the entire cruise. And I certainly don't want anyone to see moi near anyone dressed like boat. Oh, French, huh? I so enjoy the French way. Oh, uh, yeah, I bet you do. Still, I'm having a look here. Every few minutes of inane distraction with this imbecile will start my creative juices flowing again. Je suis Jamie Lee, the famous hot couture fashion designer. Not Jamie Lee Coitus, former leggy supermodel. We, oui, I was and still am quite leggy. <laughs> and who are who? Larry? <laughs> Larry Laffer? You've probably heard of me too, huh? No. Distraught? What are you working on? Distraught? I'm bugging! I was gonna use this friggin' cruise to show off my new spring line to the world fashion press. I even paid their way along with us. But now I just learned my arch rival, that bastard Calvin Crone, scooped me. He pirated my entire spring line, waited till we sailed, then showed it to the press as his spring line. He can't do that. Ha! Huh. Tell him that. But what in the hell am I supposed to do? My whole line will be laughed at. I gave it my
my all, and now it'll be called derivative. I gotta show something before we dock, but I'm fading all out of inspiration. Wow. Well, I, I wish there was something I could do to help. You know, I used to have a lamp like that hanging over my computer desk. And your point is? Oh, I am so lame. You've gone through a lot of paper. Uh, ain't it the truth? What am I gonna do? I gotta get an idea from somewhere. What's a nice girl like you doing in a dive like this? Hey, I'm earning a nice living, Larry. And what does this look like to vote? A singles bomb? Hey, I bet you could help me with this competition. One of my categories is best dressed man. Got any suggestions? Suggestions? Dress? Boom? Yeah, the leisure suit. It is a kind of awesome look, isn't it? <laughs> Where are you from? I am from Jersey. So I suppose you spell your name C-U-R-T-I-S? No, why? The collection Calvin Klein ripped off from... What was it like? Oh, it was feminine and sexy, kicky. You know, the perfect look for the office and out on the town. It matches the way a woman lives today. I was so totally inspired. In other words, exactly like every other designer's line. But if I help you out, say, with an idea, you know, you would be grateful, right? Grateful, we oui. Gracious, downfall. It would be so non-couture. Jamie, honey, I got it. The solution to your problem is right before your eyes. All white, but not too bright. Lightweight, but durable. Artificial and wrinkle-free. Vu? What? Oh, not me. Polyester. The leisure suit. It works for me. It's a classic look. It stood the test. It's still the best. What? Oh, wait. Crazy. Although retro is in, and fashion has done crazier things. And really, when you come right down to it, ain't fashion just convincing people old ideas are new? Making people desire the crap they just threw away? Sacre bleu, Larry! It just might work! And the best thing is, I'll make that asshole Calvin Klein look like Z4. Say, uh-huh. Happening. Oh, but wait. It's impossible. We're in the middle of the ocean here. The press is already aboard, and I have no polyester fabric. Well, I could fax and order the chopper at aboard. No, there's no way. But I do have my best seamstresses here. No, they're just for last minute alterations. There's no way they could stitch up a whole new line overnight without fabric. <sighs> Maybe next year, if I even have a next year. What's your favorite fabric this season? Natural dyed and padded cotton. Soft, flowing, kicky. How about blue? Felt. Get it? <laughs> Ugh, I should have guessed. So, would there be any chance of finagling a ticket to this fashion show of yours? Oh, no. It's strictly for the industry press. We would never allow in public Dorothy Nair. So, if there's going to be a fashion show, there's going to have to be models here, right? We. Oui. But what good will they do more? They have nothing to wear. Say, that would be a show. I bet modeling is just about the best career ever. Ha! It is too live. It sucks, Larry. That's why I'm a designer and not a model, dig? Jamie Lee, I've got a great idea. Vraiment? That means really? Let's hear it. It concerns you and me and no clothing. Oh, yeah, like that's ever gonna happen. Well, I'm off, Jamie Lee. Tell me something I didn't know. All right, I think that's about it. Stage door. These doors. Your Never attention, please. Mark has left. just finished with a record high score in the nude curling competition. All right, guys. So uh, that's Leisure Suit Larry Love for Sale, otherwise known as Leisure Suit Larry, Leisure Suit Larry Seven, and. Um, yeah, I mean, 
I really do like this one. I think even though the graphics are like the one from 6 better, I think the gameplay from uh, 7 is might be one of my favorites because it's so different from other Sierra games, right? It's almost like a Windows desktop type of interface instead of having, you know, your traditional Sierra point-click adventure stuff. So, might be actually my favorite in terms of gameplay. Yeah. Graphics, I still like 6 better. I think 6 has uh, got the, you know, the more nostalgic charm. But, um... I do like the gameplay from 7. So that's it guys, Leisure Suit Larry Love for Sale, pick it up on GOG. And uh, one of the better Leisure Suit Larry games I've played. Thanks for watching guys.